This is my closet. And then this is my closet. This is my unorganized, unfinished closet. So the secret to a lovely marriage, if you can, is separate closets. That's right. right. So the closet is the only space of the house that I didn't design myself completely. I worked with this design company to create a closet that felt very much me. I didn't want it to be too feminine. I didn't want it to be too masculine. I wanted it to feel like a really good balance. And so this is what we achieved. This floor runs the whole length of the house. This section here is my husband's. He doesn't have a lot of clothes. So this is his section. The rest of it is mine on Queer Eye. I talk through how a closet should be organized to make life a lot easier for you. And I always talk about color coordinating your closet. Come, 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 let me show you. So I've loosely done it. So I categorize my clothes uh, into all button up shirts, all suits, all uh, lightweight jackets, all heavy jackets. You'll see that I mostly do it. It just F's up every now and then. I travel a lot, I ain't got time to figure out my closet right now. We have shelves at the top of this that are completely empty. I haven't found the perfect thing that will live there yet that will bring me complete joy. And so they are currently empty. Don't judge me. This right here is the piece that I wore for the Emmys. This took a disgusting amount of hours for people to hand embroider this whole thing. So I have not reworn it yet because it seems like a lot of luck. Like I can't really go down to the grocery store in this. However, maybe I will one day. Maybe I'll feel really extra about my life. You know, Clueless. There was this moment where Alicia Silverstone, Cher, is getting robbed and the robber says, okay, get on the floor. And she's like, oh my gosh, no, this is an aliyah. And he's like, a what? -a? It's an aliyah, a really important designer. And so I found this vintage aliyah. So this is a women's piece. It is tiny. I have not worn it yet. I got it about six months ago and I'm waiting for the right kind of occasion to wear it on a red carpet because it's definitely extra. Um, usually when I'm trying to put it on, my husband has to come over and push my ribs in so I can close it. Okay, so it's very like 80s. Oh God, I've put on some timber. Wow. We're gonna break um, what we call the fourth wall, which means you guys. And I'm gonna bring in a lovely young man who's producing this to help bring my ribs in. This is Ross. He's lovely hair. Oh, the other way? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, there he is. Hey. <gasps> Thank you, Ross. I am breathing in so hard, but do you see that shape it creates? My God, that's good. I'm very, very happy about it. <gasps> We put the bathroom in the middle, separating the master bedroom and the closet. And I put more pocket doors, because you could tell I have a pocket door obsession. And a pink glass obsession. <laughs> I didn't realize that, but it all worked out that way. And then this is my closet. This house is so special to me because I bought it when I was in my early 20s. And this was really the first closet I ever had as an adult and as a grown up. And it was such an exciting thing to be able to build it and create the space and kind of make anything I wanted. This wallpaper is really beautiful. This is Degane, which is quite a big sort of trend now, but at the time I didn't know very much about it. It's all hand painted and handmade. I've always really, really loved it, the way it reflects the light up here in this room. This is my unorganized, unfinished closet. I apologize for the mess. And then the other side, meant to be hers, but it's shoes. Lots of shoes that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I like shoes. I guess you can tell. Follow me. This is actually kind of funny. We made this into <laughs> a closet because I got so many like actual real clothes in my other closet. We just put a bunch of jackets and stuff. These are like some of my signature pieces. Some stuff that uh, people have given me over time. Some stuff that uh, I'm actually making. This is actually one that I'm designing. You feel me? This is my closet. Black is obviously my favorite color to wear. All I have is black shirts. I love Chipotle, and they sent me a bunch of their hats, so now it looks like I work there all the time, which is great. This, these are the only hats I wear. My friend painted this. This is on an Ikea table. My friend is a, a psycho, and I just recently I noticed he wrote something on the back. It says, I knew they'd run into you. How <laughs> mysterious is this? I have a feeling this is gonna help me in my life in like 20 years. Okay. 
This is Cartier. I, I don't actually own Cartier, but when you go inside and you're really polite to the people, they do let you borrow the bag. And then I have this Snapchat backpack. <sighs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much it for the closet. I feel like we were in here for a while. <laughs> I have a very, very close friend who's a shoe designer, so that's why I have this many shoes. <laughs> and of course, I have all the showbiz shoes here. There's shoes I wear a lot more than others, so those are kind of front and center usually, and they're kind of arranged by color. All the everyday ballet flats are down here, because I don't wear high heels every day, and most of the black shoes are together. This is all my favorite shoes right here. And then the other side are my like kind of like secondary shoes. I'll show you a pair of special ones. These are embroidered. Um, from a, a house called Lesage, and they also have um, these little Marie Antoinettes on them, and they have my name on it. It says, these are Dita's with love from Christian. So I have a really big vintage hat collection. This is from the 40s. They were called tilt or doll style hats. This is a little fedora, like a menswear style fedora, and it has a fake parrot on it. I've had this one since I first started collecting vintage, actually. This is my vintage brooch collection. I love collecting big fancy brooches. Everybody needs a rhinestone prey mantis. I was hyped to be able to have a good sized closet. As you can see, I'm pretty organized. Get to have some of my favorite shoes right here. My favorite pair, I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to go with my shoes. Um, this was probably my favorite colorway yet. Uh, this was one of the first ones. Pretty good looking shoe right here. Go get a pair, Nigel Nike SBs. Well, now we're gonna enter the closet and I always think people wanna see what does the fashion designer's closet look like? And my husband and I have two very different color palettes. So you hit this end of the closet and boy, it is about the stack of black. I mean, I think you need a black tailor jacket in every fabric from linen to cashmere to wool. And then I wear my sunglasses all the time. You know, everyone's like, how many pairs of sunglasses do you own? This is only aviator sunglasses. That's one drawer full, second drawer full. Everyone always says to me, how could you have so many of the same glasses? Well, there's a slight difference in all of them. One's slightly dark green, one's black, one's charcoal. I know the difference, makes me happy. And then when we come back here, my husband loves lots of blue. So he's the explosion of blue shirts, no black in his closet. And again, I can't, I can't help myself with the storage situation. This trunk was my sort of farewell gift after seven years at Celine. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton with no LVs on it. It's so old, it's before they actually had the monogram. My closet right here, I have my refrigerator, so I have all my beverages, I have all my snacks up here, I have ice here in case I want to have a cocktail and I have that kind of evening. There's a lot of hanging out in this room too late night when my girl's friends are over. Between my bedroom, my closet, and my bathroom, I kind of feel like that's all that a person really needs. I don't need this big house, but I love it. And I've definitely broken it in. I like my house to be used. And I love when people are using it. Even when I'm not here, I love when people are using it. I love when relatives or friends need to use it. So it's nice to have a house I can share with so many people. Bet you didn't know that about me. Some people might already know this, but Justin and I have a bow tie line called Tie the Knot and all the bow ties are sold for gay rights equality. We started off raising money for marriage equality and we've achieved that, yay, so now we're still raising money for uh, protecting those equality rights that we've worked so hard to, to work for. So we have these um, drawers with all of our bow ties from all of our collections. That we, we have hundreds and hundreds of bow ties in these drawers. But my favorite part about this closet is this hidden coffee machine. <laughs> because sometimes it's just too much to go downstairs. This is our closet doors that we customized. Um, we took out the big door. It was a full size door that sort of opened up and took, did it open in or out? It opened in actually. And it took up all of the closet space. So we sawed it in half and created these gorgeous half doors. Yeah, it feels like you're entering into a, a ballroom, but then when you get inside, it's just a tiny closet. Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> but it feels very luxurious to go, go into your closet like this. It's dramatic. Drama. I mean, you gotta look for drama in small places. So this door is our bedroom. This is my dressing room. Or as Nate likes to call it, my investment portfolio. Lots of shoes. I basically only wear this side, everything black. 
I like to think that I wear color, but it never really works out that way. Pops, can you pick out a fit? Which one are your favorite shoes? These. That's not even true. What looks different about Daddy's closet today? Does it look like this all the time? Okay. It does? Yeah. It's not usually messy? No. Really? Oh, okay. We have different ways of organizing. Yeah, I'm organized. That's the difference.